How we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here back in seven days to die day number 13 of the dummies guide and I've been looking at all your comments and you guys have been asking me to give the bunker a go now there's one reason that I've never stayed underground down there in that little well and that's because when I first started playing this game back on the PlayStation back in alpha 14 before it never really got upgraded you, the zombies could never dig down to you and it was always seen as a, a bit of a cheaty kind of base because you could live underground with no issues whatsoever, never get a zombie come and bother you, they could never get down to you. So that's why they added the zombie digging, punching down, a way that the zombies could get down to you. So it's going to be a little bit interesting. Let's see if we get any issues. Now, overnight I've been a busy, busy little b so i've built myself some storage boxes i've got myself a land claim block because we have only looked at the one that you get when you first put put it down at the beginning of the game and we threw that one out because we're inventory space was a real problem then this means that we can pick up most of the things in here uh these little storage chests though you can't pick up and can you pick up the campfire these days? You can. So what I've done is I've taken everything out of the campfire. It's always best to take out everything you can. So we'll take out the campfire there and we can take that with us. With the forge, I'm taking, I'm smelting out everything out of here. So I've got my clay coming back out. I'm making a load of spare forged iron. Uh, just so I've got loads of it. I've got 166 at the moment. I've got another 48 coming. I made myself a workbench now to make the workbench you need a hammer and a wrench so I kept myself a spare level one hammer because we had loads of those and a level one wrench and make sure they're the only ones in your inventory when you make the workbench so then it just uses up your rubbish ones you don't want to accidentally lose like a level three wrench or a level three hammer so that's that. Oh, we've got a little friend over there. Right, so we can pick up this forge when that's finished doing its thing. The other thing I really, really want to do is make this cigar. Oh, we've got a... We have a wandering horde going on over there. Well, we're going to leave them at the moment. Now, this cigar takes a lot of plant fibres. 250, so let's get cracking. Right, 260, perfect. Uh, we need, oh, we need some paper as well. Let's quickly get these trees out of the way. So, what I'm going to do is move my, st move my stuff down here. And then we'll see, depending on how many issues we do or do not get, we will then start tailoring this here to whatever issues we're getting. There we go, that's got me some paper. One cigar. Now this cigar, bloody hell, nearly four minutes. This cigar is going to be really important for us because the cigar gives you 10%, does it tell me up here? Gives us a better deal from the trader and it gives us plus one in strength. Which means, how are we, we've got two skill points available actually. It means our strength will be level four. So things like Pummel Pete, we need to be level 5. So I only need to put one more point into there and I'll be able to do, yeah, the next Sexy Saurus, Minus 69er. You know, there's there's quite a few things here. I do want to invest more into Boomstick over time, into the shotgun. But we've only got the double barrel shotgun at the moment. So, like I say, at the moment we're going to see what issues we get and then start tailoring this base to whatever the issues that we start getting are because there's no point building a big fortress here if it's not going to be needed some people have said they get issues with wandering hordes all the time screamers one thing i do know we need to make is a ladder because we have noticed that there's one missing down there oh hello very strange to see a soldier zombie just wandering around out here 
So let's take you down. Don't want you wandering around the... You not dead? Well, that certainly sorted you out, right. Yeah, got the right gogs on. So, right, let's get down here. While that cigar is being made, he's put that ladder piece back in there. Now, this door is going to be a little bit of an issue because obviously we can't open or shut it. Can you wrench these doors? No. So at some point I'm going to have to knock that door out and put my own in. So let's have a little look-see down here. What have we got? Apart from the place being complete and utter mess. Sort this out. We don't need these old boxes. We're going to put our own boxes in. And we can put our own lockers in. So what have we got over here? We've got our bookshelf. Now I can actually replace those and put actual bookshelves in like this but the problem with these furniture blocks is let me show you let me be a bit of a building one this one i know it's not everyone's cup of tea but we need somewhere nicer to live with these building blocks these ones here these storage ones i've made a, made a few of them you've got all these different things you make make like a chair you can make these bookcases so we can make these take out the w ones that aren't working and put the w put the right ones in the problem is they change how many slots you've got in them and I don't know why they do that because it would be much nicer to actually have those as bookcases and we could put you know we could use them same with these covers see they have an extra row but they're still not very big so it'd be much nicer to use cupboards or something like the lockers to put your clothes in but unfortunately they're not very functional Right, so I'm just taking out a few things. I don't know if you can hear that, but we've already got zombies upstairs making a bit of a ruckus. I don't know if they can sense me down here yet. One thing I was I was just looking at the bedroom over here. I think this is going to be our crafting room here at the back. This is going to be our bedroom. One thing I'm definitely not going to be doing is putting my bedroll down here to begin with. I'm going to leave that up on that little boat. See if they can make a way down to us. And we've got the kitchen down here. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to knock out some of these, these ones that are open, and replace them with broken ones. We're going to have to take out the cooker, because the cooker, at the moment, doesn't have very good storage. But what we can do is paint one of the normal blocks, one of these ones here, to look like a cooker. So that is what we're going to do. Where did my campfire go? There it is. There we go. We're going to put our campfire. Unfortunately, you can't use the cookers or anything like that, right? Let's put a few in there. It doesn't matter how many you put in. It doesn't make a difference to us. Right. So there we go. We've got ourselves a cooker and we can put all of our... Look how big these boxes are. These are really good. We're going to put all of our cooking stuff in there. Our cigar, we can now wear that. So look... Plus one strength, 10% better in bartering. Perfect. It does mean that we've got to take this off for hot and cold resist. That's not a big, big problem to us because we live in the forest biro biome. Biro. What are you right with? Hmm. Hearing lots of noise, but no issues as of yet. Right. Let's get ourselves over... Oh, hello. Over here. Now, I'm going to want to make this a doorway because I don't want to have to run around every single little time. Now, these look pretty cool. Or am I going to want them on both sides? I think I'm going to want these sides here. But actually, putting my stuff. Let's take uh, uh, what are we getting back from that we get iron electrical parts so we've got seven electrical parts what do we get if we just smack it apart just iron right, i think we've definitely woken up the neighbors i 
Now, there's one thing we can do. If we have, if we have, if we get issues with them, there's a few things we could do. We can make a way for them to come down to us so they don't start digging. By the sounds of it, they're still walking around, so I don't know if they're digging or not. They do sound very close. Keep my stamina up. Somebody actually made it down here? Something's going on somewhere. Right, let's go and... Let's go and investigate. My stamina build back up. Don't want an issue with these boys. Well, there's going to be an issue, but I don't want an issue as in where I get eaten. Oi! Doesn't look like there's any digging about, which is a good thing. So you didn't really know where to go. Thank you. And another skill point. Beautiful. Right. Let's put that ladder piece in while we're here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you do know. I can't upgrade at the moment. I've got a hammer on me. Let me know if that was making it so he couldn't see a route to me. I'm not sure. Right, so here we go. We've got the first area cleaned out here. It's going to, it took a little while, and I'll do that bit because I was wrenching some parts to get the electrical parts. Now, the other parts. So we've got loads of mechanical parts. We've got loads of electrical parts now. Electrical parts you do need, but you don't need serious amounts of these. Now, I really like this ventilation here, and I want to do something with that with the forges, but we've got the same over there, so we can do something there. Now, this one is two blocks. Chemistry station is three blocks. So they can go side by side, but that's going to cause an issue for how I would like to do my boxes. So let's place you there because we need you. And I believe that leaves us three blocks. One, two, three. Yes, it does. But I want to put, hmm, do I put boxes above? Do I make a hole in the wall? And, oh, this is, oh, this is actually too thick. Right, let's make a big hole in the wall. Ah. Okay, so it's not too thick everywhere. Um, so that bit there is too thick. Oh. It's just these um, supports here. Well, at least we know now. We'll just paint the other side of it. It'll be fine. So what, what, what I'll do then is I won't turn these into the writable boxes because now you can make boxes that you can write on. Where are they? These ones here, you can write on the boxes. Even though the picture doesn't show that, you can write on it in a very boring basic text. Now, they are quite useful, but you can't paint them yet. Which is a real pain. So we're going to put that one there. This box here. We are going to put all of the stuff in. Uh, I know Super Cool is going to disagree with me. All of the stuff that you use to build things on your workbench. Because it's next to your workbench. And over here when we put the chemistry station in. We'll make another hole and we'll put one with all the chemistry kind of stuff in. So things in here are going to consist of. Things like our short iron pipes, our scrap polymers, mechanical parts. This stuff here goes in towards the forge, even though forged iron is one of those that you can use in both. So I'm going to keep that with the forges for the second. So we've got electrical parts, and I think that's going to be about it at the moment. Put some broken glass in there. You do craft a few things with broken glass, but not many at all. Um, paper. I'm going to keep in here because on here we're going to be making shotgun shells and we need paper to make the shotgun shells. So at the moment we'll put paper in there. I might end up moving it to the chemistry stuff. Bloody airdrops. Come on. We have not seen one airdrop yet. Not one bloody airdrop. 
Oh, what a pain. Right, we've got a quest to hand in at the trader. So we're going to quickly go and do that. And then we're still going to move, start moving our stuff. Right, here we go. Trader Gem, we've got a quest to hand in to you. We need to make a cement mixer as well at some point, but I don't think we found the schematic to do that yet. No, it's still locked. So, not something we can do straight away, but we are going to have to do it at some point. You again. You are quite the daring adventurer. Yes, I am. Uh, uh, I'm going to take the 762. Do you have any jobs? Buried supplies, nice and close. Buried supplies, even closer. Everything else is quite a distance. You know, we'll, I. Oh, I would kiss. We'll take one more berry supplies. Yeah. Apocalypse hygiene and all. Right now, what have you got here? Because you've restocked. Restock every three days. You've got two cigars for sale. Of course, why wouldn't you have? Why wouldn't you have? Well, at least we didn't have to pay for it. I suppose that's something. Uh, cobblestone, really cheap. We're just going to buy it. Uh, we're not going to buy the cement um, at the moment. Uh, fire blade, no. Right, out of interest, let's just have a look at that. That does a range damage of 21. What does ours do? 33. So wooden bow is the next tier up. But it's not as good as our level 5 primitive bow. So we're not going to be buying that. Gunpowder, paper. You've got five mushrooms. We're going to be getting our garden going very shortly. We're definitely going to turn them into some seeds. Now, in here, occasionally you can buy stuff to do your house up a little bit. So that's quite cool. We've got filing cabinet, water cooler, a few things like that. Uh, recipe for the fish tacos. Tacos. Alrighty then. Right. Stay Not much else, there. but we did get ourselves few more jukes now i believe we've read the recipe so we can actually make these yeah we can into a mushroom seed straight away so we're going to do that got anything in here for sale worth having not really okay right let's get back to the building Now that, ah, that's why I dropped my forge, right, let's quickly drink you up and you up, because we don't want the forge to despawn, throw you out a second, forge, there we go, empty jar, empty water jar, I don't really care about them, it's because it automatically took out my advanced bellows, which is very, very nice of it, right, Now, come here, Sunny Jim. Normally, if I was moving house, I'd be moving a lot further and I'd empty everything out of my inventory apart from maybe like a gun to keep myself safe. And I would empty my bike and I'd fill up my bike, use, use all the storage that I can. Obviously, we're moving from there to there. So it's not a big deal. So, all right, my hammer, I can actually upgrade that. There we go. Used a bit of forged iron. So I'm going to just start running backwards and forwards, filling myself up, and start moving the things into the correct places over here. So in here, we're going to paint these all later on. We can do that overnight. I'm going to start putting in here all the things for food, and I'll make another one next to it, which is going to have all the health stuff in. I'm going to do it that like that because... That's basically what I've always done, and it seems to work pretty well for me. Right, well. 
I've just heard our first Screamer Horde. We haven't heard any so far. And it sounds like we've just had our first one. There we go, we've got ourselves a spider. Is there a Screamer? I swear I heard somebody screaming. Could it just been the spider? There he is. Was it just you? Are you just a wandering horde? Come on, you little bugger. Hmm. Now, is this just a coincidence? Or is it because I was making a load of noise down here? I don't think they've started to try and dig, though. Right. Let's carry on, but I'm getting a little bit worried about this, guys. Right, now what I'm going to do here is put a gun safe in here now they're quite expensive to make so we're not going to make one straight away and this side is going to be for ammo the guns are obviously going to go in the gun safe at the moment i'm just going to put them in with the ammo because we haven't got a silly amount uh, molotovs can go in there now this side is going to be for all the mods for the guns and gun parts so at the moment, we can get away with those. Most of the time, I don't use the steel sledgehammer, so most of the time, I just sell those parts on. These parts, we're going to keep. So we're going to put the mods in over here, and we're going to put the ammo in here. And when we can make the gun safe, we're going to put it in here with this nice little pipe coming in the top. Now, this is taking a lot longer than I was kind of hoping. But what we've got over here, we've got to build a few more forges. What we've got at the moment is we've got a couple of four. We've got the one forge and the box. I don't like putting the box there, so I'm going to make another box, and I am going to put it in the wall the same as over here. Over here, we've got... Uh, we're going to put those two in there for the second. Oh, we've got some more ammo up here as well. That one needs to come back and stay with me. There we go. And we've got... A box here for our chemistry station which at the moment has only got some bones in it for making glue um uh, this box will re-empty that out you can see this kind of things we've got in here for the forge as well all the kind of stuff that we are going to use over there so let me just carry on jumping up and down and emptying out the base Ooh. Right, so that's the final things that we've got up here. I'm going to leave all this out up here at the moment. Now, this land claim block, I'm going to leave on. You can see an area. You click on show bounds, it'll show an area, which is covering the bunker anyway. Now, this will stop, help, turn that off because it annoys me. Uh, that will help stop zombies from spawning in this area. I believe the bedroll does the same. But we've got everything now out of here. Yeah. So now we've officially moved into next door. Into the bunker down here. Now, we're just going to see what happens overnight. See what kind of commotion happens. And we'll give it, we'll give it a damn good shot. Um, I've started putting my food and things over here. So that can live in there. At the moment, I've just put all my medical stuff in here. I will change that out for a proper cabinet like this, and I'll just paint it to make it look like... This one I'll probably put paint into a cooker. This one I'll paint to look like a normal cabinet, but it will give me this amount of slots. But at the moment, yeah, we've just about managed to fit everything in. Come over to here. And we've got a few more wrenches I'm going to put into there. In fact, the paper I am going to move straight away. There we go. That all lives in there. I put all the mechanical stuff in here because if I'm going to make a motorbike or anything like that, I make it in the workbench. So I don't see the point in having a box just for like car parts.
paper can go in here. So we've got the stuff here ready to make glue. We've got the murky water. We've got the bones. We haven't even got a chemistry station yet. And I don't believe we make one yet. No, it's still locked. So we've got to put a point of precision to do that. Uh, let's just quickly check. There we go. Two more forges. So I was making, crafting those at the same time. So we've got to put one in here. Oh, there we go. It's 10 o'clock. And one into there. I want to carry this piping down and bring that into the top of each one of these. This I'm going to knock out in a minute and put up there. But I couldn't do that until we could make some more nails. So... I always have the same way of doing my forges. This one over here on the far right is going to be doing my iron. So this one I wanted to be doing the iron over there. So let's just burn up a little bit of that because we need to make some nails. So we're going to need 20 of those in total. So let that burn for a second. This one I always have doing my brass and lead. Okay, so we've been collecting this brass. We haven't been collecting very much lead at the moment. But we've been collecting the brass. We have been scrapping it. We do lose 25% for doing that. But it's not a huge amount. In fact, we've got an anvil for every single one of these. Uh, we haven't really been collecting lead at the moment. Uh, let's put you into you. Right, nails. Can we make 20 of these? Yes. That's a little bit for over here. Put you into there. And you into there. I think we actually read the book, didn't we, for the advanced bellows? No, we've still got that lock, so we must have bought that. Didn't obviously... There was another one for sale at the trader, so I might go and do that. Have you done my 20 nails? Yes, you have. We'll come back over to here. I'm using this locker again at the moment which will fill up in seconds but it's a it's a start now what did i do with my wood there we go so we're going to make two more of those storage boxes one to put the chemistry stuff um chemistry one to put the health items in and one to put our forge stuff into right here we go then let's knock the, that cabinet out well, that was nice and easy and put that one in there and we're going to put all the health stuff including these like candies and stuff that we've been getting we'll just pull that in there for now and that lives down there and we'll keep the wood on us for the second and there we go so we're pretty much sorted, but one last one last little touch we need to do. Um, this was the safe that I was talking about. Now, I can't pick that. I don't believe I can pick that up, can I? That might be outside of the area. I don't think I can pick up their items. Um, which is a shame. Which is a real shame. Now, the last thing I need... Because I don't believe I've got one yet. Let's get myself some leather. Got to get into the habit of only picking up half so I can use my buttons to just throw things up and down. Here's grab myself some paint. Yeah, I don't I hear things upstairs again. Paintbrush. There we go. Now from here we can paint these different boxes. Keep our finger on R and we can go into the different boxes up here. So this one I'm just going to make a supply box. There we go. Same as this one here. We're going to have a visitor in a minute. This one empty now. Yeah, we can get rid of this box here. And here's zombies. Right, materials. Now this one, because it is going to have explosives in it, with this one over here. 
Now this one I might actually keep as a health one. But this one here, this is where you can start having a bit more fun with it. We're actually going to turn it into a cooker like that. And the top we can turn actually into a grill. So it actually looks fully like a cooker. There we go. So now you wouldn't ever tell that that wasn't actually a cooker. But that's where we've got all of our food stuff. So we're going to have to spend some time and really get a um, garden going. We need to put some points into physician. Uh, not physician, sorry. I'm talking absolutely rubbish. Of living off the land. So that's why I've been collecting a few points to look at living off the land in fortitude. Here we go. That one means that we can do like our uh, chrysanthemums and aloe vera and things like that. This one means we can craft the farm plot 50% cheaper. And they're not cheap to make, so that's what we really need. There we go, farm plots. So they're 25 nitrate, 10 rotting flesh, and 100 clay soil. So making that half price is very, very useful to us. Um, I don't know if we're going to do anything else to the top of this. Have we got a worktop? So, yeah, we can, we can make it fit in, but it doesn't look amazing. But we need the storage space. So we might turn, we could just turn that into a normal cabinet if we really wanted. So we're going to turn that into ammo. And that one's going to be mods. Have we got anything that mods can... I don't know why we don't have a lot more of these. To be perfectly honest. We'll put guns on there. There we go. Now, that is worrying me. I, I don't know what it sounds like when they're digging out. We're going to fill that up. We'll hear them. If they are digging, we will hear them as soon as they come down to the concrete. And we'll know they're doing something. It's every time I'm moving about. So I'm going to do that, turn my light off. And that's where we're going to leave this episode. And I'm just going to stay down here and see what they do overnight. It's going to be a bit of an experiment, this one. We're going to keep trying different things. And if we've got to build a big house on top so they can't dig down, we'll build a big house on top. But I'm determined to get this working. So, as always, big thumbs up on the video. If you've enjoyed it, any comments, put those down below. And tomorrow night, we've got the horde, so... Till next time, guys, take it easy. See you later.